are JP and Holly Haber, and we live uh, just south of Bell, South Dakota. And we started with JP's family operation, so I'll let you start the story. Uh, in uh, 2009, Holly and I got married and started M&H Land and Cattle. And uh, we've been on this place for uh, since then, I guess. And uh, When we got married a little bit before that, JP and his brother had operated together, and JP and I took over the operation. Our main parts of the operation are cow-calf pair, uh, we background cattle, and we're working, getting ready to feed cattle fats. And we also uh, do row crops, that's kind of JP's area, so. We raise corn, soybeans, uh, winter wheat, spring wheat. Uh, this year we grew food grade oats for Gerber baby food. Um, we do hay production. Um, we have alfalfa, uh, cover crops. So this year, uh, well, at previous years, JP had had this idea to bio strip till because in our area, a lot of agronomists uh, push strip till. And so we, uh, and for the kind of ground that we run, it just doesn't really work that well um, because we have, we have what JP calls prairie potholes and it truly is prairie potholes. Um, and so we didn't feel comfortable putting that dollars and that fertilizer out there, not knowing that we would or wouldn't be able to use it. So a few years ago, JP said, hey, what do you think about using cover crops to try to do what strip till does? I said, hey, I think it sounds good, but it was really dry for a couple of years when it came time to plant them. So we waited it out and this year it worked out perfect. And so that's what we, we did. And so hopefully that'll, that, yep. that'll prove out for us in, in our rotation. All right, what we have here is some no-till soil clod here and we have some conventional soil clod here. And we're gonna run a demonstration on soil aggregate stability. Because we drop these in we're going to notice some bubbling oh. out of the no-till, but not near as <clears throat> rapidly as the conventional, conventional till. till is starting to really fall apart. Rapidly. And so what this is stimulating is, is a, a heavy rain scenario that this soil here will erode and kind of run down the furrow. Maybe along with your high dollar seed and fertilizer. Where this is holding together and actually absorbing, taking in that, that moisture. Oh wow, now look at it go. I, I'm surprised that, that I thought I'd be able to pull a chunk out of there in two minutes and break it in half and it would still, it would be dry in the middle. Oh wow. It's pretty much, it's wet all the way through. I mean, there's definitely moisture pretty well all the way through, and this one's completely gone. This soil can hold, this soil can hold moisture, and this soil, that's what we need is, we have to, we have to have the ability to, to conserve moisture, and that's a integral part of that. We say especially in our area, which it's true, especially in our area, but I mean, you think about across the nation, California, they're putting water restrictions on. I mean, it's just a matter of time as it moves across the country. So it really is important no matter where you live. Thanks a lot for uh, joining us with that a little experiment. Um, like we said, we're, we're located in East Central South Dakota and right in, uh, south of Zell, South Dakota. And and keep looking for these little guys and these little guys. <laughs> uh, I'm Holly Haver, this is Haven. And I'm JP. And Harley's taking a nap. <laughs> Stop in if you're near Zell. Thanks. Bye.